Hi, this is Jim Nelson, and today I'd like to talk to you about a technique uh, called exposure blending. And I'm using Photoshop CS5, and uh, this is a technique that we use to increase dynamic range um, in a photograph, uh, similar to HDR, but um, using a manual technique uh, in Photoshop. And unlike using some of the HDR software programs uh, that can be fun. Uh, this produces more realistic uh, results. In this case, I have an image that I shot in Tuscany uh, this year, May of 2011, and I shot it on a tripod. Um, so both images are the same, other than the fact that the one on the right was a longer exposure. Um, so you can see the one on the left. I like this background area in here. I like the uh, exposure, there's detail in the wall back here and the flowers. Uh, the foreground, um, I don't like so much, especially this lower area. This foreground area where I was standing and with my tripod and camera was being illuminated uh, by some windows that were to the left of me up high, and um, the area in the background was actually illuminated by a door to the left. Uh, same direction of light, but a much larger uh, area was coming in, so it's pretty even light in there. I like this. I don't like this area in here. The second exposure here was done uh, with a longer exposure, therefore it opened up this area. I also processed this image in, in Camera Raw and opened it up even a little bit more. I did a fill light uh, adjustment that really opened this up. So I like this, but this background here I don't like. Um, and if we drag the histogram over, you can see that the, um, the, the highlights are up against the wall there. They're blasted out. So um, what I'm going to do is merge these two images together. I'm going to select the Move tool over here. I'm going to select the lighter image and press down Shift on my keyboard and drag over and drop. And when I drop, it will be perfectly aligned with the image below. I'm going to close this. I don't need to save it. I'm going to move these over so you can see my histogram and my layers palette. And so what we have here are two layers in line, or two images in line with each other. I'm going to turn off the top layer and the bottom layer, and then the top layer. And with the top layer selected, the lighter layer, I'm going to select this icon in the layers palette, add layer mask, and you see it appeared right there. If I click on the image icon there, it highlights that. I don't want that highlighted. I want to highlight the layer mask right there. Next we're going to select a brush. I can go B on my keyboard and make sure that the brush color is black for painting on the mask so that we can reveal what is underneath. And I'm going to start with an opacity of 100. And uh, as I, I'm going to enlarge the brush size here. I have to pay attention to my time too. I have five minutes, so I'm going to put this into two, two videos. And I'm going to be careful. I'm not doing anything yet. I'm just moving this around to not drag too, drag and click and drag too close to this edge right here. Because if I do, let me show you here. I'm going to click and drag. It actually darkens the door as well. I'm going to go Command Z to undo that. So I just want to click and drag inside this area for right now and brush revealing what's underneath that um, layer below. And you can see that I still have to work on the edges. I'm going to stop this video right now and start a new one. Uh, so this is the end of part one and um, we'll start part two and get it done.